Hi, I'm Mike with House on the Mend, and in this video we're going to be reviewing the Patio Gem Waterproof Sofa Cover. So let's get started. If you break it, he will fix it. If you buy it, he will build it. House on the Mend. Now I'm not paid or sponsored by Patio Gem, but they did reach out and offer to send me this sofa cover for my review. So let's see what comes inside the package. All right, so the Patio Gem sofa covers have two different listings on Amazon, interestingly enough, and among them, there are a total of 11 different sizes, as you can see here. So you should be able to find one that fits you. Now, the way sizing works is you go by width, depth, and height. And for our couch, the closest one was the 853735, which is what we have right here. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Now, I love that you get a bag to put this cover in. You know, so the kids come out here, they pull it off. Hopefully they don't just throw it down on the ground to roll over into the pool or over into the chicken coop or someplace and just get dirty. Uh, they have a bag that they supply you with that you can put it right back into. And there is some room in it. It's not like one of those tents you buy from like Walmart where you'll never ever get the, the tent back into the bag. There, there's a little bit of room in it. So I like that. All right. Oh yeah. Now I know it may look like I have a little troll coming out of my shirt, but that's actually to help with the wind. It's quite windy here today, which is gonna make a great opportunity to see how the straps and things work and how well this stays on our sofa. So the first thing I notice is this material is really nice. Now they call this 600D polyester. I don't know what that means, but it looks really nice. There's like a tan kind of color here and then a darker earth color. It's very pleasing to the eye and kind of matches our particular sofa. Now, in the listing, it says on the inside, it's double stitched with PVC along the seams to help with uh, the 100% waterproofing. I don't actually see the same like clear plastic PVC that you saw on the listing, but nonetheless, the stitching looks really nice and you can feel the material on the inside uh, is what you would expect for something that is waterproof. Now along the sides of the stitching there's this really nice bead here. I like that touch. So let's move this table out of the way and get this thing installed on our sofa. All right here we go. Let's see. Jeez, that was easy. So the first thing I notice is there's a slope heading down from the backrest to the armrest, which is a really nice touch. It's not just some big square thing that's gonna sag in the front. And then we've got handles here on both sides that you can use to lift it up and remove it. We've got clips in the front here. So let's get those on. Uh, plastic clips, easy release, uh, and then a strap that tightens on a nylon strap and a nylon fitting. So I'll be interested to see how those hold up to the wind we get here in Las Vegas. And the foot I have here is actually uh, like a 90 degree angle. So I'm going to draw this out a bit like that and then fold it underneath. Let's see if that works. Now in the listing, it said it had two clips as you see here, but there's four on this one. Well, let's put them all on. Maybe they got some feedback that two wasn't enough. And there's our fourth one. All right, that's really easy. Now come take a look at this over here. So these are air vents and that's to help with the crosswind so that air has a way to escape. As you see right here, it's kind of bulking up with the wind as it's blowing this way. These air vents give it room to escape, but what's really neat about them is it's meshed. So it's gonna keep leaves and debris and things out 
uh, when the air vent is sucking air in. That's pretty cool. Now the biggest draw for us in the desert of Las Vegas is UV protection. The majority of these outdoor patio sofas and chairs are made from a petroleum based product. They're basically woven plastic. Uh, you can also get some of course that are woven wood, all of which are susceptible to UV decay. So that's the thing we're most excited about. However, I know a lot of you live in what they call wet areas. In fact, something strange happened last week here during our monsoon season. It actually rained. And that got me to thinking, why not do a waterproofing test to see just how much protection you're going to get from rain? All right, got a bucket here that is bone dry. Let's take our sofa cover and start first in an area with no seam. Got two cups of water. Let it sit for an hour and see what happens. One of my least favorite chores to do when we're gonna have company over is to take all these Adirondack chairs and wash them every single time after a dust storm or a rainstorm because this little channel here and then all in here gets so dirty. How awesome would it be to have one of these covers that would just go over all of these chairs? And if you can't find one in the listing because these are patio ones, what occurred to me was what if we just take split them in half and purchase a cover this size. And that way, right before a pool party, no hosing down of the Adirondack chairs. God, I would love that. All right, it's been about an hour. Let's pour this water out. It's beating really nice. And when we look in the bucket, it is completely dry. So zero water penetration. Let's try the test again, but this time on a seam. So here's a double seam. Put that square in the middle, pour the water back. Now this one's gonna sit a little longer cause I got my daughter's soccer game to go to. Yeah, it's gonna be a windy night. Great time to check those clips on the bottom and see how they perform. Soccer game's over. They crushed it. It's been several hours, so let's take a look at our bucket and see if any water made it through. And nope, it is still bone dry. Now that is impressive like four hours of water sitting right on the seams, nothing getting through. Well, that answers the question of waterproof. All right, put the cover back on, see if it can withstand all the wind we're gonna have tonight. Okay, just gonna buckle it up and we'll see you in the morning. Well, it's a new day. The pool needs to be swept out, but this cover held on great. No issues at all. And that's without even pulling this drawstring. I was editing the video from last night where I saw this dangling in the picture. And I noticed that I forgot to even mention the fact that there is a drawstring that goes around 360 degrees. So when you get it to the final position where it's gonna sit, you pull this in like this and look at all this. It's got a little button that you push in. And you can tuck that right under. And now it's even less likely to blow around. Fantastic. Now, if you found this video helpful, will you please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the algorithms to start suggesting it to more viewers like you. Also, please consider subscribing. I'm working really hard to put out good quality content and reviews, and there's more videos to come. I'm going to leave a link for both listings for the Patio Gem sofa covers. Full disclosure, those are Amazon affiliate links. So if you click on them and end up making a purchase, it won't cost you a thing, but I do get a small reward at the end of the month. It helps to justify the time and effort it takes to make these videos. Now, I want to give a huge thank you and shout 
shout out to Patio Gym for sending me this sofa cover for us to review. Until next time, thank you for watching.